out for lunch with my buddy Ty, having a bit of fun with the skateboard and the drone. Back to the office to work now. What's up guys? It's Friday. It's the uh, 31st, I believe. So um, it was Wednesday, the skateboarding drone stuff. Uh, wasn't today so um, it's been horrible here it's been raining and uh, haven't been able to film because the lighting has been it's pretty much been dark the whole time for the last 48 hours it's been pitch black um, anyway vlog number five uh, it's been a very office bound kind of week doing officey kind of things and so I thought I'd dedicate vlog number five to the office slash gym um, I did a little Facebook live session about the space when we just opened so it was bad quality the place has uh, evolved since then so I thought I'll do a nice high quality video about the office and the gym space Okay, so here we go. We've got the reception desk behind me is the first thing you kind of see when you come in the door. My very creative and talented sister-in-law actually designed and built this. Look at that. Hold on. There it is. Isn't that nice? And then just behind there... People first, fitness follows. Probably the most... Probably the coolest phrase or the coolest sentence that has popped into my head and it's become kind of my motto for life, not, not necessarily the fitness part, but just the people first part. I really believe that if you put people first and everything you do, um, the rest will take care of itself. So and just behind the wall is our members area where they put all their stuff. Our fridge, you would have remembered from episode number one, my uh, fit aid wall. That's where the cans come from. And uh, very minimalistic, clean looking pro shop. We've got a TV up there that plays across the games. We do have a kids area. This is where the kiddies sit, playing their iPads and watch something on the TV. And then where the magic happens, the gym. One thing that CrossFit affiliate owners love to do is they love to accumulate and uh, hoard stuff that they don't necessarily need for their classes, me included. Um, but because this gym's only like six months old, I haven't accumulated rubbish just yet. Only the needed things in here, very minimalistic, very clean. And um, so yeah, I'll show you around. Over here, we've got the pull-up rig, which houses four squat racks, four ropes to climb, and four sets of rings to do fun things on. You'll see I put these uh, ply boards up against the wall. That is there so people can do handstand push up against them. It also helps space people out in the class. So when they do their, their wall balls up against the wall, that's where they go and stand by the plywood. In this far corner, got the medicine ball, the plates, the bars, very important, the benches. You've got a bench press, if you don't bench press, get on the bench. Members clean their stuff when they finish. They sanitize their hands when they finish. They come and enter their scores when they finish. Dumbbells, skipping ropes, boxes, dowels, ab mats, foam rollers, music, cones, all the good stuff. I bought this toolbox to place the mouse and the keyboard on and one of my beautiful members made me this. Kettlebells, one of my favorites. The rowers, filthy devil machine, the airdyne. Now this is by far one of my most Favorite, favoritists, most, my, one of my most favorite quotes by a CrossFit personality, Pat Sherwood. I've got this quote in our Auckland gym and in this gym. There it is. The goal is just to get fit. I think a lot of people forget that. They get way too serious, way too intense. Make it the best hour of your day. I can't read it, it's back to front. Far out. Stay safe, turn up the music, high five some people, and blow off some steam. So remember that, just relax, have fun, and work out. Pat the man Sherwood. Then over here, little area to uh, sit and relax, read the notices, all the events coming up. That is definitely my wife. Nice little touch. Oh, the clock. Don't forget the clock. You have to, you have to be able to quantify your workouts. It's important. Let's have a look up the stairs, eh? We've got my office. We have on here just a, uh, a big old crate and got some leaves hanging down, our skateboards. It just kind of evolves, we stick things up as we as we go along. Basketball net, the putting green. Now when I came into the space it was there was a massive boardroom table in here that we got given to us by the previous tenants. I cut it in half and created two desks. The fit aid wall which you would have seen in episode number one. Four inspirational posters. Don't compromise. 
There ain't no rules around here. We're trying to achieve something. It's not done until it chips. Stop sketching, start building. See our kind of lunch room table slash meeting table. Couch for relaxing and reading. And this is the view down to the gym. Now in this door, oh have a look at this. Hello. This is our studio area where we shoot video, take photos, all those kind of fun things. Got the back got the backdrops, different colours, all the camera gear. Now before we go into Ty's room, I'm gonna make a prediction that his fan is on, it's going. He's already left for the day, but he always leaves his fan on and I have to turn it off. So let's go have a look. Guarantee it's on. So this is uh, Ty's office and Alistair's desk. Alistair's the great photographer. Ty's the world changer. And uh, I can hear that fan. I can definitely hear it. Listen to it. And so this is what I do every day. Some more great posters and things in here. Hard work forever pays, very true. A map of the world where uh, you know all the locations that Ty has traveled to and touched hearts and changed people's worlds and then probably my favorite unemployable love the skateboard very cool and that is our office slash gym spend a lot of time here have a lot of fun a lot of creative juices flow here we we'll get to fit here and uh, yeah that's vlog number five done see you next week